Hello Polygoners! Welcome to another daily cast. Today we've got a really interesting match that kind of shows uh, the nuance of tactical decision making because counterattacks are really useful, except when they're not. We're going to get more into that as this game progresses, but first I want to go ahead and introduce these players because here on the top left hand side of Odyssey Ladder Edition, she is the Red Zerg player. We call her the Queen of Blades, it's Scarlet. And her opponent in the bottom right hand side of the very same map in the blue Terran trunks with a cute little paw as his decal, it's none other than Ryong. Speaking of him, he should be having a show match coming up in the next few weeks. It will be Polygon Invitational number 11. He will be playing against Classic. We're in the process of getting that rescheduled, so please visit us on Patreon if you guys want to donate to help support matches just like that. And we've got a little Reaper harassment here at the Natural. Nothing too major. Good save here on the Spore Crawler. She will definitely be canceling that. We already see that has happened. Third base going down very early while the Reaper is distracted. Great move there by Scarlet. And the Queen going to be here to zone off of the creep. Well, just on the edge of the creep, rather. Um, keeping that Reaper at bay. It's going to be uh, having a hard time getting into either the main or the natural. But there is always this little spot right here he could choose to exploit. But with Met Metabolic Boost coming out very shortly, he may just choose to poke here at the Queen and try and get a little bit of damage done there. And while all of this is happening, we do have a starport uh, completing on this side of the map for Ryung and some Hellions will be coming out. This definitely looks like a mech style coming out of him. We'll see how that progresses for him momentarily. Yep, Raven. A couple of Marines coming out, probably just trying to spend some of the minerals. Definitely going to be mech here. And the Hellion's going to be reinforcing this Reaper, going to be grabbing this nice little narrow choke that will, of course, kill off Lings should they choose to... Uh, to engage in that area, but while that is happening, these Lings have decided to counterattack instead. Now, counterattacks are very strong for Zerg, as Zerg mostly wants to play defensive and take advantage of their really fast units to get where their opponents are not. But there are a couple of Hellions here, and that means these Lings are going to want to split up, but they are clumping up very, very um, badly. Uh, of course, Ryung trying to force that by moving all his SVs into this little hole here, and of course, uh, doing a great job killing off those Lings. While this is happening, looks like there was a little bit of harassment, but we've still got these three units alive for Ryung, going to be reinforced by these four Hellions, and this is going to look quite a bit different here for Scarlet if she doesn't get some kind of defense in posture, because Ravens are very strong Hellions as well, and in conjunction with each other, uh, Lings just are not going to be enough to hold this. The Queens, however, are a plenty, so we'll see if Scarlet can hold this back while maintaining her inject. She does have five Queens on the map right now, uh, maybe even a sixth one over here. Nope, not quite yet, uh, but it is in production. Lair is on the way as well, and we've got a nice little uh, Ling kill off of the Reaper and some of these Hellions falling to the Queen Fire as well. Looks like no transfuses here. Oh, just misses those two transfuses. Um, the the uh, Auto turret definitely uh, doing its work there. So let's see what all has been lost. 16 lings and two queens for the Zerg player. And a little bit of gas, but nothing too major for uh, for Ryunki. Did lose six SCVs during the harassment, however. Armory is going to be in production. We might want to be on the lookout for some Hellbats, but the Baneling Nest is in production for Scarlet. She is definitely going to be wanting that. She's got a second and third gas on the way. Evolution Chamber's coming. Definitely going to be capitalizing on uh, her lair tech and again producing some extra queens but this banshee going to be swinging in here with uh, with Cloak but the Overseer already completed. So the Cloaking not actually going to make that big of a difference. That's one of the great advantages to getting a um quicker layer and uh, I know a lot of players some at least some players will choose to get the fourth base instead but uh, going more for the technological style good defense on that auto turret there and we've got a little hellion run by coming in at the southern location taking this is on Naga tower first wants to make sure this is not going to be spotted and uh, as yet has not been but the Queens are already in position as uh, Ryung can see he could skirt around however and come over here we'll see uh does he see the creep over there 
Uh, yeah, he should probably know that's coming. But now the Overseers have dropped a couple of Changelings. And, uh, of course, the attack is scouted. Now there's about 17... Or, or rather, about 7 extra workers here that could all die to Hellion or Hellbat Flames. But the Bane is going to be rolling in to keep that from happening. And some really great splits here by Ryung, showing why he's one of the top players in Korea right now. But the Queens and the Ling is going to be uh, coming in here to knock this back. But... Now off of creep, the Hellbats are going to be feeling a little bit safe. The Queen's not going to want to engage off of that. Going to have to be very careful. Yep, definitely just getting to the edge of that and dropping some creep after repelling that attack. And it looks like this attack will be stopped. Fourth base is in production right now for Scarlet. And it looks like Ryung going to be sending this Banshee. Oh, no, going to be moving that. Um, moving it a little bit south while the Hellions go north trying to split the army of Scarlet just a little bit. While this was happening, there's not been a lot going on. Um, as far as like run buys or anything like that in the the Terran base, which is good. Um, about a 10 worker lead for Scarlet, but with the constant pressure here from from Ryung, Scarlet is definitely the type of player who start throwing some counterattacks at her opponent. And we actually see a fifth base trying to be taken here. It is the gold, but of course, uh, those Banshees going to make short work of that. Poor, poor drone. Mutalisks are in production right now, and uh, that, that's, you know, really, uh, really a good decision against a mech-style player, as it is going to force Thors and or Widowmines or some kind of uh, Vikings to, to, to repel the Mutalisks. And with this much gas income, of course, Scarlet going to be feeling very, very strong with a large Mutalisk flock. Mutalisk is going to be coming in and getting at least one of these Banshees. That Overseer going to be chasing that right on out, and... Hiding these Banshees over here. We've got some of these Lings getting in position. We'll see if that goes straight into a counterattack. However, these Hellions were in position to defend that. <laughs> and some Changelings going down. He's going to want to kill those off as soon as possible. Changelings are actually very underutilized. Scarlet, one of the best players at using them. And, of course, Missile Turrets are in, uh, in some spots, but not covering this natural here. I guess the Thor was supposed to defend that but ooh, some great micro here definitely keeping the mutalisk split up manually here is scarlet and but she is meanwhile still targeting manually those scv so getting uh getting about 10 to 13 scv kills there in that one single attack just on the power of sheer micro alone this is going to pr uh, prompt a counter attack in the form of these hellions now this is a great counter attack force probably going to roll in here but these units are going to want to be in this fight especially the banelings the ling's not going to be so useful the queen's going to try and get in position some really good transfuses while this is happening and there's a little bit of a banshee attack over here it looks like the hellions are using some of the hellbats to tank while uh these are staying zoned out to with the long range on the roaches and the mutilists are showing up the thors showing up to knock back the hellions and the roaches are not in enough numbers to be able to take out the thors but they do hard counter that lings and banelings coming in here and really doing some damage 90 now 88 drones for Scarlet to 59 for Ryung. Looks like this base may fall to some of this harassment. Um, but this right here, Roaches, Hydras, and some Queens um, with only one, now two tanks here for Ryung. This is starting to look better for Ryung. The tanks definitely going to even this force out a little bit. But Scarlet being very careful to send only small groups of units forward. And Morphing and some Ravagers should be able to take out the siege position of the siege tanks should she get any kind of vision of that high ground. She does not have it yet, though. There is some uh, harassment here on the low ground with the hydras trying to pull all these units into the tank fire and that is actually working scarlet making the mistake of getting hit during this attack but the lings are still over here wrecking the space has nearly canceled it but the lift up or destroyed it but the lift up of course going to protect them from the melee damage of the links so this base is going to fall here for scarlet but this did not i'm not sure what happened to those banshees but this base did not fall so she will have a place to maynard over to and she can probably take another base in that bottom left hand corner now these links are going to get caught on their retreat path uh by this huge mech army <laughs> couldn't try and outrun it but ah uh, links just aren't that fast probably one of the fastest units in the game but not fast enough to outrun that much dps now the roaches and the hydras did see um where ryung's army was so he is choosing um to to fight scarlet's army and looks like some nice um ravager shots going off but uh ryung's got the bigger better army and scarlet's going to be forced into a retreating path 
And here we go. Some more really good Ravager shots. Going to make Ryung reposition his units. Um, and has taken out quite a bit of the army. But at, with a 50 worker lead, these guys are at very similar supply. Scarlet, she is a great player. And staying on top of that macro, 11 roaches in production and some vipers. Vipers are definitely what you're going to want against this mech. But while this is happening, I'm going to have to pause because they're just getting a lot. There has been another ling run by here. Looks like another one here, but she's still floating 1,600 minerals. She's not been getting quite the gas count that she wants. As you can see, some of these uh, are really close to mining out as well. But really, the gas interruption here, and only just now getting this one gas here, is really starting to hurt her balance so she is limited now to nothing but links so she is forced into doing these little counterattacks just from an economic position she has just a little bit too much workers and her army's not able to to deal with it her um and her technology access her her tactical options aren't there either but she is doing a great job holding off with what she's got the roaches the lings really great control managing to take out individual siege tanks just like this rather than using an entire clumped up army which the siege tanks would eradicate just these small tactical choices but this is a lot of siege tanks on the field and what she really would want oh nice abduct there but still taking a good tank shot to the face what she would really want is a larger number of mutilists, but just doesn't have the gas to to, to do that. Roach is going to try in here and kill off a lot of the Thors, but only killing off one. Oh, now getting a second one, but that was a huge army and a lot of gas. She is throwing away for these little pickups. Some wings going to be swinging in here and almost getting a kill on that tank. So again, these small tactical groups, really, really good against mech play. But ultimately just not mattering because she got too far economically ahead of her opponent. And the counterattacks basically put Ryung in a position where he had to just all in because he couldn't fall back on an economy. It had just gone too far. So she provoked an attack that she just wasn't quite able to handle. Why wasn't she able to handle it? She didn't have enough gas when it came to the mid game. I would have loved to have seen... I don't know, some more gas a little bit sooner. She's a great player. She definitely knows this information. This is just for you guys to help you learn what to do better in your own games. I'm sure she's beaten Ryung plenty of times. I'm sure they have like a head-to-head -head rivalry or something going on because both of these are very much so equally skilled players. Guys, I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Thank you so much for watching this. Please like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Shadowlay, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.